So um, I'm I'm gonna talk about schedule and worksheet. Um, it's basically um for Vectorworks to show you the numbers um in every object um because you as you can see every object actually have information associated with it. So that's why when you click everything, they will have a uh, object info panel. Okay. Um, one thing I want to say is every ob object created, you can actually give a name. For example, here, I click this um, this polygon. I can give a name like site. Um, so I click again, it shows up site. And then this one, maybe I can give um, name like parking. Yeah, parking. And then for this, I can give like building as you know all these are just different things um, okay um, so then what I can do is I could um, go to resource manager and then I can you know create a new resource and I can create a worksheet from it see I can create uh, so this is a worksheet I can just um, name it as you know area ratios and then I click OK so what I'm gonna do is just put on the name it um, for example I can do site I want to do building and then I want to do um, parking you know that's pretty much it um, and I could create insert new columns insert rows and then I can give um, total and then here and I say you know area this percentage so pretty much just like create one you like um, and then the key thing is you can in insert okay when you insert there are two important thing one's function was criteria okay function is what kind of uh, calculations you want to do there's a lot of them uh, but usually what we do is area you know volume those um, pretty much um, uh, easier things um, so for example if you want to do area just double click you just click okay and there's there will be area and then you go to insert again you go to criteria and then this is what magic come from uh, you can s actually select the objects you want okay and those objects they will calculate those objects using area um, and if you remember we have names see this is name so for site I see whether or not um, I just create name is site so we see here object that meets the criteria is one which means they found one object in here um, okay but then you click OK. See, they will have a bunch of formulas, and then here you just add um, the equal sign and click this green, and then click yes. Then there will be area, okay. And if you want to show the uh, unit, you just go right click, go to format cells. You just show uh, dimension area. You click OK. They will show how many they have, okay. And then what you do, you just copy and paste. I guess just copy and paste, uh, and you just simply change the name now. Okay, so this is um, building. And this one is parking. So I have all of them. And for this one, we need insert new function, um, which is sum. And click OK. What you do is um, this is sum, and then you add the equal sign. It's like Excel. You add equal sign, and then you click inside here, and then just choose all these cells, and then click yellow sign. And then we'll calculate all of this. Okay. Um, the same thing for percentage. You know, you just um, equal. You know, you just do this minus and divide by this number. Then they will have a percentage on it. Okay. This one divide by total. So we'll have a number down here. 
Okay. Um, now I won't do all of them, but you can change percentage down here. So you can show quite a bit of stuff, okay? And also remember, uh, you could go to format sales, you can change numbers, you can change the font, alignment, the border, see, you can change the border as much as you want, you can change color, you know? So a lot of stuff, okay? And the way you just um, close it, it still show up here, and then you can just drag it down here, you know, then you will um, show up your plan view. Okay, so this is basically what it was. Okay, what's cool about this is, for example, the site. Um, you see here. Um, if you change, for example, I change this. I know this is site. If I make it bigger. Okay, and then see the number right now is like five thousand something, and then you can actually recalculate. See the number will change automatically. Change. Okay, that's one thing I feel pretty cool. Um, um, also. Um, the good thing is, you know, you have this, once you made this uh, worksheet, it doesn't have to be, you know, like this old worksheet, you know, you have those formulas made or, you know, those names. You can actually reuse them later, you know, for example, um, you can just copy and paste, you know, this and uh, move, you know, just drag to other files, reuse them later, okay, you can do that. Um, Let's just save you some time. Okay, so this is this. Um, then I'm gonna talk about the other thing is uh, schedule. Okay, um, schedule is pretty straightforward. Um, let's select all of these files. Let's change it to a class. Let's say um, conceptual areas. So I have all these files as one class. Okay, um, but they're they're in different types. You know, this is rectangle. This is extrude. You know. Um, but you can go to tools, go to reports, and go to create report. Okay, that's what's cool about. Um, and the um, there's different ways of doing it. Uh, some some objects have records, some not with records. So um, you need to pick. Okay, so one thing is basic criteria. That's what you can do. But uh, here we want to use advanced criteria, and then we edit criteria, which means we want them all have the same class Let's see see class okay so class is so we can find four object okay um, so four project um, is in there and um, we'll click OK and once we click OK then we selected those four things and we'll go to functions and what we do is we just select area and we add um, and I guess there should be name. See name. We add. Uh, actually, we wanna uh, remove this one name in the first, and then we click area. We add. Uh, so that's pretty much this. Pretty much it. And then once this all down, and you know, we click OK. They will create. You know stuff for us okay similar thing you know but they will just lay out all the things down with us okay that's a really cool thing okay um, with name area all that um, just a quick example just do it again uh, you can just go to reports create reports but this time we can pick some um, objects that uh, Vectorworks has them preset for example doors windows you know all those and like hardscapes, plants, you know, they have a lot of, um, um, for example, like this is doors, this is windows, see, they have a lot of information associated with it. Um, you could just use those, you know, like I just um, reports, create reports, I can pick doors this time, um, and uh, I select doors, and then this is all the possible columns in doors, okay. What I want to do, I just need ID label. I may just do like prefix. Uh, I may just do width. I may just do height. So I have this information. Then um, if you click OK, they will create a brand new one. You can also just do one. You say appendant to existing report. There's multiple one. Uh, we can do this one. Like, you click OK, 
See, they were creating new ones. Okay, that's was about the you know um, the doors. Okay, uh, the the other cool thing is you can actually um, hide this. You know, because sometimes it's confusing. You just go to view data hiding, so they don't have those. Okay, but it's good for you to learn them. Okay, for example, uh, this width, this area. You can actually change other functions you want. You know, there's there might be other functions that like volume. You can click OK, click OK, so they will get a volume for us. Okay, um, in here area. You know, that's basically what it is. And you can do other things. Um, you know, you can do class. Click it. They will show us where the class is. Okay. Um, pretty straightforward, but um, it, and it's you save you a lot of time. Okay, um, you can change. You can always change. Okay, um, user field one. You know what it was. You know have, doesn't have much. Um, you know you can change transform depths. You know there are some information. And then what you can do is you can even double click. You can right click, select item, so they will select so this door. So this door is this information. So then you can change the doors, they will automatically change. Okay. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I will talk about this quite a bit uh, in my uh, BIM landscape architecture tutorial. Uh, this is just some basics um, to help us getting started. Okay. Thanks.